I would like to say what a privilege it is to be Hallmead School's new head teacher. For those of you who may not know me, I wanted to let you know that I'm not new to the school as I've worked at Hallmead for eight years as a deputy head teacher, overseeing the school's pastoral and behaviour system, and I'm also an English teacher. I say this because I want you to know that I've chosen to stay at this school and spend my career here, as it really is a special place. And I want to start by thanking you for putting your time and consideration in making us the school of choice for your child. When I joined Hallmead School eight years ago, I had a very clear career plan to stay for only four years. I'd stuck to this rule at two previous schools I'd worked in and was confident that when I submitted my job application that I would continue to abide by this rule. However, I had heard from other people who worked here that Hall Mead was not the sort of school teachers left. The legend had it that once you joined, you stayed. And now I know why this is true. And now I know why I had to break my own four year rule. There is something quite special, quite unique, which happens here on a day-to-day -day basis. It's the reason why our staff stay, students return to visit us years even after they had left, and ex-students send their children here. We are really proud of this. We are really proud of our connections, our relationships, our culture, and at school we refer to this as the Hallmead way of doing things and I believe it's what sets us apart from other schools. At this time of year, when families are beginning to think about and visit secondary schools, we are always asked about Ofsted, so I would like to mention them. And in fact, we were inspected just a few weeks ago and the official Ofsted report will be issued by Christmas. As I'm sure you will know, I'm not allowed to reveal the outcome of this inspection, but what I can say is that after a long, very long 10 year wait, is that it was a fair process and that our students showcase themselves in a way that every adult in this building is proud of. What our recent inspection has confirmed for me is something that our Chair of Governors, Matt Dronfield, an ex Hallmead head boy, describes as magic. And to help achieve the magic that we see here on a daily basis, there are three things an ethos and culture that endures, a curriculum that delivers, and an environment for the future. Our school ethos is best summed up by our timeless belief in the motto, Family for Life, which describes our school community as an extended family and one in which everyone feels valued, safe, and supported. We are a genuinely comprehensive, diverse, and inclusive school. And like any community or workplace, sometimes things will go wrong. Sometimes we have to deal with bullying or unkindness, but it's how we deal with those sorts of things that define us. We say to our students that family do not necessarily get on with one another all the time, and that sometimes we might even say something to someone in our family that we might not say to even our worst enemy. But at the end of the day, our blood is thicker than water, and what families do well is that they stand up for one another and they stand by one another. This is truly the Hallmead way of doing things, and this is why Hallmead is a special place. Hallmead School, we pride ourselves on our wide, inclusive curriculum and our rich extracurricular offer. We have a desire to offer a broad and diverse range of opportunities for our young people, especially as they missed out on so much during the pandemic. Our curriculum provides experience of studying a wide range of academic and practical subjects and is enabled by inclusive, quality-first teaching. Alongside strong results, our curriculum develops rounded, active citizens equipped with a knowledge of history, the world, science and the arts. We do not have any rotation of subjects within the timetable so students access the full range of lessons on a minimum of a weekly basis, meaning they are able to build their knowledge and skills progressively and maintain continuity of understanding. We place high value upon the need to engage and enthuse the students, so each term we begin with our Lighting Fires lessons. These are designed to inspire the students from the outset of their learning journey. Consequently, 
our students gain consistently high examination results, reflected in the high number of grade nines across subjects and our high levels of entry and achievement within the English Baccalaureate. This is English, Maths, the Sciences, History, Geography and Spanish. As you can see, our 2023 results show really positive outcomes across the full range of measures and compare very favourably with provisional local and national figures, especially as we are a genuinely comprehensive school. And this is all set against a national picture of toughening standards and lower grades. The environment for the future resides within our new main building. This features a large, dedicated dining facility, a performance space with retractable seating, new science laboratories, new design and technology rooms, new specialist art and music rooms, as well as new classrooms and a wonderful library space with spectacular views. Throughout the academy, classrooms have digital teaching walls so that the classroom experience is consistent whatever lesson the students are in. Outside, we have a large multi-use games area and extensive landscaped recreational spaces and covered seating areas. The building has been built wholly with our particular intended curriculum in mind and is now fully open and providing fantastic learning opportunities. At Hallmead, we recognise that all your children are different. They think, learn and develop differently and we are equipped to respond to that diversity and create an environment that really does cater for them holistically. We do not believe in the one-size-fits-all idea and our values of respect and equality align with this. As an inclusive school, we promote equity, not sameness. We want your children to feel safe, happy, empowered, nurtured, enthused and challenged whilst they are on their educational journey here with us. Part of that is the curriculum offer and inclusive quality first teaching Mr Bamba has already talked about. But equal and inseparable partner to that is our outstanding pastoral care system. We have a wide, skilled, caring pastoral support system which ensures students are provided with the varying level of support they need at any particular time. Of course, there are times when young people get it wrong. Making mistakes is part of learning and developing your own character and times when progress is slow. Everything that happens here is rooted in our positive relational approach to managing behaviour. That simply means relationships are put at the heart of our practice. It's the genuine warmth with which conversations and lessons are conducted and which leaves students in no doubt whatsoever that their teachers care about them and their progress. We do this through a system called Discipline with Dignity, which underpins our behaviour routines, very high expectations and our pastoral system. It puts the emphasis on mutual respect, doing the right thing and then restoration when needed. Staff and students follow this and it provides the framework for recognising and rewarding getting it right as well as our responses to getting it wrong. We give instant recognition through our system of achievement points and behaviour points, all of which are accessible live to parents and carers as well as to students and staff. This is complemented by a whole range of awards and rewards badges for blazers, certificates, VIP passes, vouchers, trips, nominations for student positions and by a scale set of responses that are fair and proportional when there has been an issue. On your journey looking at prospective secondary schools you'll hear head teachers and senior leaders talk about Ofsted and frameworks and the demands they place on schools and what their latest set of results show. We are supremely confident that our offer to students delivers everything we have to include, but I truly believe we go much further than that. And a walk around the school always confirms the quality, breadth and diversity of what is on offer here and what you will get a taste of if you visit to see a school day in action. We have a whole mead way of doing things and it works. It's tangible. Visitors say they can see it and feel it and they enjoy it. The school isn't just the building. 
it's the culture, the ambiance, the interactions. I like to say that our values are lived, not laminated. And this is most evident in how we show our pervading beliefs in always being kind and valuing difference. You see being kind is important in the day-to-day -day behaviour of both staff and children. From opening doors, to conversation and consolation, to someone taking a moment out of their day to check in on someone having a hard time, to being kind to their peers with additional needs. We see it in the emails and calls from our community asking for thanks to be passed on to students who help them in their moment of need, unprompted and without expectation of reward. You see it in the bigger things like the charity work, student run events and clubs, the random acts of kindness programmes, the food bank collections. We are proud of our diverse student body and this includes all our students with special educational needs, disability and neurodiversity. We celebrate and usualise our different cultures, ethnicities, religions, backgrounds and family structures through our regular practices, even in our curriculum, as well as through more deliberately overt initiatives and events. We're signed up to the HALO Code, a pledge that promises that no member of our community will face barriers or judgments because of the texture of their hair or their cultural identity. Following successful lobbying by students, in 2022 we adapted our uniform to allow all students the option of wearing trousers and took the impetus from that and the new laws regarding costs of uniform for parents to have a full refresh of our uniform policy. We are pleased that it is now reflective of the modern world and removes any cost disparities between the genders. We have a thriving LGBTQ group support structures to overcome disadvantage, an active student voice group, a highly valued religious studies curriculum and a phenomenal creative arts and sports offer that offers all students the chance to both see themselves and be themselves. We are breaking barriers and teaching our students that anything is possible for them now and in the future. This is what we mean by the whole mead way of doing things. To help embed them into the Hallmead Way and to start them on their own journey here, when they join us as a student, they'll be assigned a form tutor and a head of year who will oversee their pastoral care and support. These are both constant presences for the students throughout their time here, and this means genuine relationships flourish. In addition to this year system, we have a strong house identity, which links specifically to our history and our Upminster location, of which we are very proud. Dickens House, the greenhouse, is named after Mrs Dickens, our first ever head teacher, and until Miss Ducker, our only female head. Chapman, the blue house, is named after our first head boy, Kevin Chapman. Waltham, the yellow house, is named after the land that the school now occupies. And Talbot, the red house, is named after the hunting dog which used to run on the Waltham land. Tradition and history are important to us. They inform what we stand for today whilst helping us to move forward excitedly looking to the future. I firmly believe that practices and methods do have to change as the world evolves, but values don't, ours don't. We always say we're proud to be Hormead, and Hormead is the type of school which gets into the fabric of you and becomes a part of you. This is why so many of our amazing staff stay, send their own children here, perhaps even came here themselves, as I myself did. It's the family for life that we often quote and that family will warmly and proudly welcome your young person into it should you choose to send them here. I would like to finish by telling you a little bit about our four key values which underpin all the work we do together. Our first value is about excellence through which we encourage students to burn brighter and take pride in striving to be the best they can in all they do. Our second value is about equality, through which we promote the importance of valuing difference and recognising the enrichment offered by accepting, respecting and celebrating different voices, cultures, races and beliefs. Our third value is about respect, through which we stress the importance of being kind to one another and how the quality of kindness is one that we would all hope to be remembered for when we look back upon our lives. And our final value is about challenge, striving like athletes to do their best and beat their personal best each time they undertake a challenge and valuing effort as an important characteristic of higher performance. You will see these values in the people you meet at Hallmead, 
staff and students alike. They are what we are and they are what we say we do. So to finish, I would like once again to thank you for your interest in joining our wonderful community and considering our school. I hope our presentations and your wider research about Hallmead will inspire you to apply, knowing that your child will receive both outstanding pastoral care and teaching here. I therefore hope in September to welcome your son or daughter into our Hallmead family for life.